What is up guys? This is Hunter from Black Valve Media and we got a 3080 Ti. First off, big shout out to Stan for going to Micro Center today and picking it up for us. So let's hear about that experience, Stan. Thanks, Hunter. It was really hard to get this 3080 Ti. They were grilling me with all sorts of questions. They even asked what the capital of Syria was. It's Damascus, by the way. When I was there, I even got to meet Shaq. What are you doing here, Shaq? You guys are paying me for this, right? Yeah, I guess you are in every commercial. I'm gonna be real honest with you. What's your name? Stan? I don't even know what this is. Wow, I can't believe they got Shaq for this. Cause that's how I beat Shaq. Anyway, we're gonna unbox this thing. Check it out. See what's going on on the inside of this box. All right, so let's get this thing cracked open. You know, we, uh, there was some weeks that we just went to Micro Center like daily. Just trying to pick a card, a card up. No luck, so the release of this thing was a good opportunity to get one. So we're very thankful for that. So this is the, um, this is an MSI Gaming Trio X. You know, we're not really picky. We got one. So there it is. <clears throat> Packaging looks great as always. Doesn't really matter. Just want the juice on the inside. What the hell is this? <laughs> They're like, this thing's heavy. You gonna need backup. Is this a bracket to hold it? Do you know what this is? Holy Lord. <laughs> this is big. Like, I've seen some, oh yeah. I've seen some big things, but this is big. How does this, this is bigger than some, com most computers. So we're looking at, what was it, 19, 1911 out the door after tax, whatever else. That's a lot of dough. I mean, that's two grand. This is two grand right here. And like, you know, you're 30, 90, you're looking at over two grand, but this is less RAM, less VRAM. I think it's ultimately roughly the same. The 3090 has 24 gigs of VRAM. So very close in performance, you know, it's supposed to be shot in the kneecap for mining. We'll find out. But, uh, I mean, we're just happy to have another one in the lineup. Honestly, like, if it was up to me, we'd have another 3080 in my case, but 3080 Ti is available and not gougingly overpriced, so we're gonna we're gonna run with it. So here it is. I mean, this is a this is a great moment. I, I could I can't say I could be any more excited, except for if it was no no this thing. And it's really expensive, so don't break it. All right, so we're pulling a 3060 out of this case. I mean, still great 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 cards, but. It's no, it's no hog that's about to like in, encompass this case currently. So, hello, I will graphics process. Hello, I will graphics process. It's different. It's just different. So, holy lord, it fits not easily. All right, we're gonna do this really carefully because you only we only got one. <laughs> All right, so this thing came with a bracket. I wasn't really sure at first, but it is some sort of shroud, I think, for just airflow. Um, but it actually connects at the top here on the other rails um, and just kind of like has a little pad here that leans against the card. So I mean, I, I assume it's all airflow here. I don't, I don't, I can't. Probably a support too, honestly. Yeah, and it, it's also supporting the card to where it wouldn't fall forward. This is such a heavy card, so. Uh, kind of a neat little thing they include. All right, we got this sucker slapped in, fired up. We're gonna do some tests, check it out, make sure everything's functional, nominal, useful, operational. Um, so here we go. We really like nice hash. We put it on all our PCs we've been mining on. It's, it's really easy, just install it. You can control it through an app. You can kind of just uh, manage it and look at stats um, through your account. So it's a really easy way to kind of get into mining without overdoing it. There's other ways that are more efficient or, um, you know, a little more profitable, but we're happy to, you know, use the service because it's, it's just so easy. So the 3080 that we have that's cooking has been doing dagger at uh, between 70 and 80, which is uh, better than this. But as you can imagine with the um, limit they're putting on there, well, of course, a lot of access. I, it's nice hash, of course, but without the limit, you can imagine how how much more this card could produce. Oh, here it is. So Octopus is getting 93 mega hash a second. So it's probably going to mine with Octopus. I think that's what the 3060 has been using with good results. So it seems like the most profitable alternative um, with the 
you know the the crutch that or not the crutch but the uh the having that nvidia has put in on the cards so 93 is pretty good that's pretty crank so obviously this isn't necessarily the first choice you'd want to make when you're like exclusively mining but a really great option if you're a casual miner um, and a great card. So let's see what else this thing's got going on. So now we'll do the benchmark with Heaven and see what, what kind of results we get. All right, so let's look at some settings here. DirectX 11, we'll do ultra quality, no tessellation, no stereo 3D, no multi-monitor, no anti-aliasing. We'll check that full screen. And we'll just use the system resolution, which should be 1920 by 1080. So let's crank that. So Heaven's a really great uh, benchmark we like to use. It's kind of like if you do it on every machine, you can see the difference between the two. I think it's really important as soon as you get a card to, to do a benchmark because we actually got a 3070 that seemed to be functioning well, like it was working. It was definitely not like as good as we thought. And we thought maybe it was like, oh, this thing is just not as good as we thought. But um, in reality, the card was having an issue. And we found that out when we ran through heaven because the numbers were way off. It wasn't a driver thing and it wasn't, you know, anything else. It was actually a problem with the card. So it's good to do these tests as soon as you get your cartridge to make sure that everything is actually working. Um, and if you have multiple systems and if you look up online, all these numbers are out there. Um, heaven, heaven is a very common benchmark so you can just see what other people are getting with a similar build. So it's, it's good to do these things just to make sure everything's working. So uh, frames per second, uh, 382 average, score of 9,625. So that's pretty delicious. Uh, that's only a 1920 by 1080 test. Um, we'll check out a 4K test maybe sometime just to see where we're at there. But there's, there's a good 1080 benchmark for you. And this was with an i9 9900K in it um, on a Design Air motherboard. Okay, so Hunter had to go to bed real quick, so I'm gonna run uh, one more benchmark. It's three marks time spy benchmark. So we'll see how that goes. So we ran this with an i9 9900K. Uh, you can see our score was 17,000, which I think is pretty good. Uh, the graphic score is 19,000. Uh, so I hope you nerds are fucking happy. <laughs> I mean. I mean, I hope you, I hope this is useful information to you as you're deciding to whether or not to buy this graphics card. Now back to Hunter. Well, thanks for those other benchmarks, Evan. This pretty much wraps it up for our, our quick unboxing and review of this card. Um, really awesome, super exciting to have. If you have any questions or comments, put it in the comments below. We'll get back to you. Um, thanks for watching. No, I'm the host, I don't need one.